So today I'm going to do what people have been asking for for a little while now and that's covering Nintendo 3DS on RetroBat. So in this video I'm going to show you how to get a full screen, I'm going to show you some video settings and also some file extensions that's compatible RetroBat using the Citra emulator. So check this video out. Okay, so first things first, if you've not yet hit notifications and you've not subscribed, if you like this video, hit notifications. I'm always uploading emulated related content, especially RetroBat. So let's look into this. The emulator free RetroBat I'm going to be using is Citra. And Citra is a great emulator for 3DS. It's free and it requires no BIOS files. So first thing I want to show you is if we head over to the Citra compatibility list, you can check which games you've got and if they're working okay with this emulator so I've taken a few out of my collection to test this with and I'm going to show you how to set this up so I've got three in my collection and two of them are deemed as perfect by the developers of Citra whereas the other one is actually deemed as great and if we look at the top of this compatibility list we got a legend here so we can see Quite a fair amount, 154 is deemed as perfect, and that's 100% playable. Whereas we've also got a green section deemed as great, and that's 173 games. Now, obviously, the further down this list you go, uh, the worse compatibility is going to get. So uh, my advice is just stick to the great and the perfect areas. So let's get into setting this up. So first of all, I'm going to go to my retro bat shortcut, right click and open file location and once we're in file location what we need to be doing is looking for bat gui and this is going to tell us which file extensions citra is going to take so system list and i'm always going to say this but if you don't have this pull down option you have no text then check out my retro bat automat setup guide um, it's quite likely you're missing some files there from the initial installation so once we're on system list, we're going to go to 3DS and right at the bottom there in the left, we have extensions and this is all the extensions which RetroBat and Citra are going to be compatible with. And we can also see this has got a Citra Libretro core. So many common file extensions there for your games and the ones I'm using are .3DS. So quite literally everything listed just there, if your game ends with one of these extensions, you're fine. So let's come out of here. And what I'm going to do next is go into my ROMs folder, which is obviously in my RetroBat directory. And I'm going to go to 3DS, which is obviously at the top. Everything's in alphabetical order. And I'm going to just drag and drop my dot 3DS things inside of that 3DS ROMs folder. So once those are in place, what we're going to do next is just uh, close this one down and actually open up RetroBat. So once we're inside RetroBat, you should have now appear a Nintendo 3DS logo. So if we go in there, we've obviously got no cover art. So let's just quickly scrape some cover art. So main menu, scraper, and scraping settings. And that's up to you how you want to download this. And we've also got the option here for downloading preview videos. But you can check all that out in my other tutorials for RetroBat. But anyways, we're going to scrape these games and so we have got Kirby Triple Deluxe which is one of the games that Citra deems as great and we also got Mario Kart 7 and Super Mario 3D Land and both of these are deemed as perfect and we're going to go to main menu game settings update game list and really update game list yes and here we go so we got our artwork with some preview videos so I'm going to start off with showing you some gameplay on this. So I'm going to just open up what Citra deems as great. And this is Kirby Triple Deluxe. So let's open up this. And the first thing you're going to find is you've not installed the emulator itself. So let's just press yes to download and install that into RetroBat. And once that's installed, your game should now launch.
in if you should get a me selector come up then just go ahead and select standards me and okay So as we can see there from gameplay, it's a little bit laggy. And like I said, going through the compatibility list, there's a reason for that, that it's not 100% perfect. So let's look at making this as best as we can. So what I'm going to do is go to View Options, Advanced System Options. And the top just here, you're always going to want to leave this one on Citra QT. I find this one actually works better than the Bretro Citra, but you can experiment with these. So the next important one for enhancing our games and make emulation do what it's good at is if we go to internal resolution, you've got the option here of putting Citra up to 4K. Uh, I've not experimented with 4K in all honesty, but what I have done is uh, I've looked at some of these games I've got up to 720p. And, you know, considering this is a portable system with a poor resolution, I suppose, or great for its time, then 720p is actually a real big significant upgrade. So next thing I'm going to do is go to video mode. And this is where we can change that small screen into a larger screen, almost a full screen size. So if I just go to screen layout positioning, this is where we can change how this presents itself. So for example, I'm going to go to single screen only, and this is going to make it full size. But if we just full size it without adding some extra video options, then it's going to look a little bit jaggy. So I recommend going to visual rendering and by linear filtering and turning this one on. So once all that's done, let's open up Kirby Triple Deluxe again. Like I said, it's going to be laggy regardless because it's not deemed as perfect. So as you can see, that's working really well. Despite the lagging, it looks pretty good compared to with the original resolution and the default video settings. So let's check this out again. I'm going to do another comparison almost, and I'm going to go for Mario Kart 7. So I'm going to put everything to default settings. So view options, advanced system options, internal resolution. I'm going to put this one to auto as standard. And under video, I'm also going to put this to auto. And visual rendering, I'm going to put back to auto. And let's open up Mario Kart 7. Now, there is going to be times when you do need the second screen, but that's up to you to experiment with your games. And some games obviously need this small screen, whereas some don't. So that's just an option where you can go through video settings, how uh, this presents itself. Mario Kart
can see, Mario as well, which is obviously a small screen, and there's lots of jagged edges. So I'm going to go back to view options, advanced system options, internal resolution. I'm going to actually bump this one up to Ultra HD and see how this works. And I'm going to go down to video, and I'm going to change the screen layout positioning. So single screen and visual rendering. I'm going to put bilinear filter into on. And let's check out Mario Kart 7 again. Let's see how this looks. As we can see there is a massive difference and a massive improvement it always looks like a non-portable game just a conventional console looking game now you will see that uh there's times in that where we clearly need the bottom half of the screen so let me just show you that if we go to advanced system options and go back to video screen layout positioning now we can actually enable that smaller bottom part of the screen which is for the stylus by going to large screen and small screen so let's check this out again mario kart 7 and all the video settings are still enabled mario kart 7 As we can see, we can now see the bottom half of the 3DS screen, which is for the stylus, and it works really well. So my final one I'm going to do is Super Mario 3D Land. And again, advanced system options, I'm going to put this to auto. V video, I'm going to put that to auto. And visual rendering, auto. And let's check out Super Mario 3D Land. Here we go! It's a play! So let's go back and change some settings. So advanced system options, internal resolution. I'm going to put this one up to 720p for this. 
video I'm gonna put actually to large screen and small screen so we can see that small stylus pad and visual rendering I'm gonna smooth this out with bilinear and filtering and let's open up Mario 3D Land again. Here we go! It's a play! So that's my setup guide today for Nintendo 3DS and Retrobat using Citra. And I'm really thankful that my partner has actually got a 3DS. So I've actually got these games and I can see how much better they look through emulation. And it really looks amazing. You could probably agree with that. So like I said at the beginning, if you're new to my channel, hit notifications and also subscribe. If you want more Retrobat content, you'll get it as I upload it. Also check out my new membership option where you can request new videos to be added as part of a perk. So anything you're looking for, I'll be happy to upload for you. So check out membership options and also check out my new merch store. Okay, so until next time, stay retro.